It's your boy, Editor Matt. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Not only am I gonna show you how to do this, there's also a download link in the description where you can download a preset for yourself. Within that preset, there are 24 different zoom animations, 12 going in, 12 going out. So you can use these however you like, but I originally designed them so I could use them on images. This can be a nice way to highlight a particular part of the image. All of these zooms have motion blur enabled. So we have three different speeds and four different amounts of zoom. First we have punch, which is a quick punchy zoom. Then we have smooth, which is a slower, smoother zoom. And then we have gentle, which is a slow, gentle push in, push out. I got nothing else to say, so let me just show you how to do this in Premiere. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. I have a lovely photo of a map. Let's hop over to our effects window. So if we look over here, I have a folder called Map Maquette Camera Zoom Presets. And then within there, we have the three different speeds. And then inside each speed, we have the different zoom amounts. So let me show you how to apply these. We can start off with the punch zoom. So let's add a 100% zoom. So we have a zoom in and a zoom out. So the first thing we want to do is create an adjustment layer. Let's head back to our project, create adjustment layer, and let's pull it over top of our image. Now head back to the effects panel. Now the genius developers over at Premiere decided that precision is useless and everything should be relative. So when you apply this preset, it's going to be relative to the length of your adjustment layer. Well, that doesn't look very punchy. This is supposed to be a quick zoom. So what we want to do is undo that, trim our adjustment layers so that it is just the length of the zoom effect. That looks great. Now for your animation, you might like to leave it zoomed in. So then what you can do is drag the adjustment layer back out and it'll stay zoomed in. But maybe you want to zoom back out. What you would do is you would take the minus 100, apply it to your adjustment layer. Now let's take a look at our effects. Now let's minimize this transform. And then we can go to the next one that says zoom out. And what we want to do is go to scale, move these to where we want the zoom out to happen. So now we have this. So that's if you want to zoom in and then also zoom out. Now, what if I didn't want to zoom into the center? Now you can adjust where the zoom happens. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. I'm going to show you. So what we want to do is take a look at our composition and figure out where we want to zoom in. So let's say I wanted to zoom in a little bit more north, in this case, Southern Ontario. What you want to do is click on your transform and come down to anchor point. And what we can do is pull the anchor point up towards I want to zoom in. Now what's going to happen is my image is going to move the opposite direction. We're going to fix that, but we want to imagine where our point was. So if we pulled up our guides, and we dropped a ruler where we wanted to zoom and say we wanted to zoom right here. Then what we would do is take our anchor point, pull it up to that spot. Now looking at the value here, we have 355. We're going to counter our position by putting in 355 and that should bring it back to normal. And now when we do our zoom, we're going to come into that point. Typically I just eyeball it. I don't actually use my rulers. Now let me show you how you can create your own zooms from scratch. So we're going to hop over to our effects panel and type in transform and apply that to your adjustment layer. Now let's come down to scale and enable keyframing and let's move over any space of frames, doesn't matter. And then say we want to go 150%. So obviously our motion is not smooth here. So what we want to do is highlight our keyframes, go to ease in and ease out. Now what we want to do is play with the velocity and try and get this looking good. That looks nice. Now let's add a little bit of motion blur. I'm going to put 180 degrees in the shutter angle down here. 
and that should add a little bit of blur on the sides. And just like that, you have a nice smooth zoom. And if you wanna save it for later, you can right click your transform and click save preset. But again, I've done this for you, so you can feel free to download them and use them however you'd like. And that's basically it. Don't forget the link is down below if you wanna download those for yourself. One thing I'm doing right now is I'm stockpiling all these Premiere Pro presets that I can use for my videos. It's great when I can share them with you. If you guys enjoyed these downloads, let me know down below if there's anything else you guys are interested in and I will do my best to try and create something for you. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.